Welcome to Jackal DIY and Tech and in today's video I'll try to bring this SATA SSD back to life. Currently it's pretty much dead. I can show you that. In this way you can't really tell if one of these is the SSD that I'm trying to bring back to life. Spoiler, no it's not. This one is an M.2 NVMe drive which has the operating system and this one is one terabyte drive, also SSD, but this one does work. Now the one that does not, how can I show you? Mm, let's see. I think it's disk manager. So as you can see, I have three disks. C, G, and this one, disk two. This is the one that I want to bring back to life. So we have healthy FI, Healthy primary and 18 gigabytes of unallocated space. Can I make a new simple volume? Hmm. That would be interesting to say the least. Maybe let's make a new simple volume. See if it shows up. I would be very surprised if it does. Because previously this was all just one partition. And yeah, it cannot be. As you can see, it has input output device error. And I also cannot delete this one. It will give me the same result, as you can see. And if I use, let's see, window PowerShell in admin mode, I type in disk part. Uh, let's see, list disk. So I have three drives. The one that I want to delete is this one, disk 2. So select disk 2, list partitions. I have two partitions. I have no idea where this partition came from. But let's say that I want to delete both of them. So select partition 2, delete partition override. And it should also give me an error, the same one that I've gotten inside disk management. So this is a no go. Now, how I might be able to fix this issue, might be, before I just take it apart and take a look at the components, if I can see anything, is to connect it to the PC, go into the BIOS mode, but only have the power plug connected, so no SATA connection. And leave that running inside the BIOS for about half an hour to an hour, and see if somehow magically the disk will fix itself. So what I have to do now is connect the keyboard with the cable to the PC so I can actually go into the BIOS. Otherwise this is not possible, at least not with this setup that I have, because the keyboard does not get the signal fast enough to get into the BIOS. Stop recording for now, I'll have to turn off the PC. So this is the SATA drive now connected, only with the power connection, no SATA connection. I will now turn on the PC and go into the BIOS. So now I'm inside the BIOS. So this is the boot drive. And this is the one terabyte data drive. So the one that I have just connected with just the power connection, this one will not be visible because it doesn't have any SATA connection, so no data communication with the PC. And now I will simply leave the PC running for 30 minutes to one hour, come back and see if this will magically fix the issue when I connect it back with this USB to SATA adapter. 
So I think this has been one hour, or at least close to it. If I touch the SSD, it's a bit warm, that's about it. What I'll do now, unplug the SATA drive and connect it via the USB dongle. Quit without saving, yes. So let's go check the drive, we don't see it, of course we don't. Let's go to disk manager management. You must initialize a disk before a logical disk manager can access it. Wow, look at that. Okay. I guess I'll use MBR. Okay. To request file due to fatal device hardware error. Okay, so can I initialize it and use GPT? Nope. I guess this device is pretty much dead. Unless I can somehow initialize it in another way. But currently this is not possible. Now I do hope that the BIOS solution works for you. It did not work for me in this case, for this SATA SSD. It should also work if you have an M.2 NVMe SSD. You just have to leave the piece running for 30 to 60 minutes. And the disk will do its job removing all of the bad parts. But that's assuming that the disk has some good sections left inside of it so that it can replace the bad sections. Now that will be it for this video as I can't initialize the disk. If I find any kind of other solution to initialize it, I'll let you know by making another video. And if you want to see more DIY and tech tips, subscribe to the channel.